What it do guys, Manjame here, and today we're taking a look at Tommy Oliver, the White Ninja Ranger, and let's start with some replays. In fact, they, we're actually all going to be replaced today. I played a whole bunch on Friday, and I just haven't had the time to really get the uploads to you, but there's some pretty fun matches in there. And you can definitely tell that I'm trying to learn how to play the character. And it looked like a lot of people had the same idea. Uh, to play the character since this was a challenge and because it was a challenge we're all on equal footing because everything's equalized so you're at the i guess maybe top strength that you can get or just like in an old fighting game like a dragon ball z game where you could add things to your character to make them even more powerful this is like playing the normal version you know this is kind of like the stock version of the character and here I am, just into a combo, falling deep. And there wasn't really a place for me to start to try to break that. And it doesn't look so great for me. Still not looking good. That move he has, that flash kick, does not go very far. But I get one combo in. It's still one combo. Okay. Got the block break. That was some good damage. That was some really good damage. It's almost like a third. And looks like he only has defenses. So I was able to do a, um, a dash cancel. And then I actually won that. So I don't even think I deserve that win. But with the... Just the quickness and the volatility of the... Uh, Tommy Oliver White Ninja Ranger matches like that that's actually not too crazy as weird as that sounds because matches can go like that like so quickly okay we're gonna go into the next one here and I don't really I be honest I played so many of these I lost a bunch it a lot of times it felt like I lost more than I won which is probably not too far from the truth. Wishing I had gone for a strike there, because I had two strikes and he just threw out the breaker. I'm also coming from behind in this match as well. Here I'm able to get a strike out. Into a pretty decent combo, didn't get the, uh, was it, the ninja super mode? Ooh, but I did get the strike out. I think I'll pop right after this into the ninja strike. I don't know if there's much I can do off of this. Nope, the only thing I can do off of this is eat it. Alright, he just threw that out, I think to get rid of it. And I was able to really capitalize on that. So, he ended up trying to get rid of the defense he ended up giving me exactly what I needed to take the match oops that's not what I want and we're gonna be able to run through a whole gambit of matches because there's so many left here Let's see this is the third one I'm sure eventually we're not gonna be seeing more Tommies but we're going to be seeing a lot of Tommies. And you know what? Fair enough. He's the new character. Everyone wants to play him, especially because it's for free. And he's like... Uh, I forget the rarity. Legendary or something? And then... Adam's pretty rare as well. And, you know, even his assist is probably equally as rare. So, it's a team that you probably wouldn't be able to get unless you're really lucky or you put a lot of money into the game. So that's what I really like about these challenges, is that you can just use, well, for some of them you can use any character. Some of them they give you a kind of a pool of characters, but it still lets you, like, play a good deal of them. You know, basically for free. And that was just a crazy combo. I actually got hit by that. That's a pretty good distance.
And you know what? This, these mirror matches, you know, not bad, not bad. Yeah, that was pretty much it. That drill kick is really cool. And I think, is that the same drill kick that he has in Battle for the Grit? I think it is. So that's actually pretty funny. <clears throat> don't worry though. There's going to be plenty of matches that I don't win. And a lot that I lose, like, spectacularly. So... Yeah, we're going to get into a big... A bunch of those, so... First one I lose is, is against the Hollow Trainer. You know what? I don't think I should have kept the movie Blue Ranger on here. Because I don't... I don't remember it being all that helpful. Although, to be honest, the, using him ended up, for the most part, just be, that was a bad block. Using him mostly ended up being about using... Well, I mean, that worked out right there. But it mostly became using his own techniques and this comboing with his own moves. I should have waited just a, just a little bit, or else I would have gotten one more hit. That's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt a lot. That's not gonna kill, I don't think. Okay, that killed. <laughs> okay, moving on. A lot of it becomes who gets the first... I, I think it's only really two combos you need with him. You know, full um, string of combos, I suppose. So that was Hollow Trainer. Here's Legacy LBJ10. And again, this is another loss, so we're putting in wins, losses, everything into this. Because, you know what? Maybe I don't know how to play Tommy. Maybe someone else does. And of course, there's a certain level of luck that goes into this. Oh yeah, that was bad. I don't know if using the teleport attack would have worked in that situation. Or if I was just screwed. Alright, he got a good block in there and he was able to capitalize with a full combo. I think I... I don't think I threw that out just to, you know, get rid of it, but... That didn't really help um, having movie blue. I think I would have benefited more, probably from another strike or maybe another breaker. Yeah, that was pretty bad. <laughs> okay, moving on. Okay, we're going to be fighting Geki. And at this point, I actually did decide to get rid of Movie Blue and go for... What is this? Um, Beast Morpher Red? And at least in this fight, it did not help. But we're going to see if having him on the team even meant anything, because if I never draw one of his cards, then we'll never know. I'm pretty sure they either got voice samples from the show or any other media from Tommy, or they actually had Jason David Frank come in and do a few sound bites. Either way, it's fun. That was good. Block break, because fighting against other Tommies right now, they have a lot of blocks. So having something that can capitalize on that is pretty smart. That was a that was a really bad idea, actually. I'm not gonna say it cost me the match. Okay, I was I was just thinking, in that situation, I would have popped that red. 
Even though when I, even in retrospect, I picked the wrong one. Like even think, looking at my bars, I'm like, what do I want to use? What do I want to use? And like, still got it wrong. Lost to Geki. And you know what? I don't think I actually fought a lot of the same people. I think they were all different for the most part. And let's fight Dane. Another loss, but it's also good to see how other people play this new character. Because, wow, new character still after like... I think this came out in 2017, so... 3, 4 game? 4 years old? And this is actually a mirror match of all mirror matches. We have the exact same team, same assists. And in this one, I actually didn't get many blocks. So everything's kind of a hill now. And that did not reach. <laughs> if I were him, I would, yep. I think that's a game. I think that might, no. I think he could have gone for game there. I'm not exactly sure why he didn't, why he had that like hesitancy. Ooh. Oh, we had two of those. Okay, that's game. I guess he was, instead of going for a little more damage, he was going for saving it and then having the guaranteed win once he got that other hit in. So you know what? Fair enough, he won the mirror match. I didn't get to see him again, so we couldn't go two out of three on that one. But he did win. That was actually pretty cool that we got the actual mirror match in there. So, Let's see, same or I'll be honest. At this point, I was getting really aggravated because how many in a row did I just lose? And I'm like, all right, I'm trying to play this new character. Should have. Just about e equal footing as anyone else, but I'm losing a lot of matches. I waited, I didn't wait long enough. I was a little too stubborn on that, and I'm taking at least mm, almost half life for that. That was good. And you know what? I'm still not sure about the the distance, and I guess neither is he. Of certain some some of the moves and. I just end up eating it. Okay. I think at this point I was wondering if I can pop my own. Cause that does that kind of buy me time? Oh he was able to block mid kind of mid combo. And that was my comeback, so. I don't have too much going on. You know, that Alpha 5 assist is surprisingly useful against me specifically. Because I always seem to have trouble like dealing with it. Either because the range is really good or I'm just like, oh, it's probably not a lot of damage, I'll just take it. Or I'm like, I don't anticipate it. So I just have to eat the damage every time it comes across. So let's fight. TL Shot. This one I'm not too sure of. Name wise, anyway. But this guy does have some. Not a. Out of the World team. You see a lot of these characters. I mean, Tommy, obviously. But Scorpina and Ninja Black. You see these characters. There's nothing that really stands out to me. That said, I still eat it. Still losing. And the question at this point is how much of an offense can I build? And it becomes a thing where you're trading <clears throat> you're taking turns just trading like these 30%, 80% combos. Maybe 50 depending on how lucky you get. And that was wasted. That was also wasted. Oh, I think I do remember how this one ends. 
I'm not going to spoil it, but I think it ends in an assist. That's some chunky damage. Oh wow, this isn't even the one where I lost with the assist. This was just straight up, I fell into a combo and yeah, that's all she wrote. Funny, he was, last time I lost, he was like over here, and now he's over here. So the camera moved a little bit. Don't know if that means anything, but hey, it happened. Let's keep going. Thing. That was this guy. Okay, now we're gonna fight Juju. And then I start winning again uh, in a few more. Juju. Juju, GG's. see what we get now. And I really enjoy this game, but I feel like you can't put too much stock into it just because of the randomness. Because, like, okay, one guy could be better than another guy, but if you just get bad cards, then, you know, you got bad cards. Okay, that was a hesitancy for me to use Ninja Strike. That was good, I'll eat that. Yeah, him blocking, I was able to get that in. Okay, right there he popped. And I feel like that gave him a split second to then use his, um... Or he popped his uh, super, uh, his um, whatever super mode, and then he was able to block. So I feel like he did that to buy time a little bit. I feel like it would kind of work like that. I'm not exactly sure, but at least felt like that. I mean, he's got one of each, so it's like, mm, he's sitting pretty. But I was able to uh, dash cancel into a um, breaker. But that didn't matter because shurikens hurt a bunch. And here he is on the other side again. Okay. Now we're going to be fighting Coca-Cola Classic. And that's a really fun name with a really weird font. I don't know how people get the weirder fonts. So I'm thinking for the most part they're playing on mobile and I don't know how you get those weird ones on mobile unless they're playing on blue stacks like I am. And even then I don't know how you would get the weird font. Okay, that was a strong open. Picking everything that works. Now, I don't have any options. And didn't get this out soon enough. Eat a full combo. And the ass his assist uh, with Scorpina does like poison damage. So like as you're glowing you're still dying and taking damage. And if I'm not... No, I think this one might be a loss with, uh, with this guy right here. I should have waited a split second. I would have gotten a little more damage in. Oh no. Okay, it was a combination of being poisoned and attacked with that. And that really hurts. And it cannot be overstated how infuriating it is to lose, 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 and lose. And with no sign of winning again and then finally getting even if it's short string, a string of victories. It starts to feel good. So let's get to this. I mean, honestly, you could just pick any of the combos and that's basically a combo video. Man, it's crazy how like combo centric this character is. All things considered. Really, because compared to how simple some of the other characters were, especially out the back or out the gate, yeah, I didn't space that right. That's pretty cool. i never seen that one before. 
Okay, that one's face good. Combo. I didn't I didn't pop. So I'm like, well I don't have all the the meter for it, so it's like, yeah, why bother? Trying to use it a little more strategically. And then with the space and time, I try to build that distance so we can regain uh, the meter. And since he's just gonna block, why not? That was not a good idea because that it's deceptively short, I guess. And then with a counter to win that one. And he's gone. So that was the first in wins again. So feeling good. Feeling good after that kind of like a weight lifted off my shoulders because there's a lot of a lot of losses. Then we're going to go back to a very familiar team or at least a lot of the components are really familiar because you got your uh, ninja white assist because he's a new character. Then you have Scorpina, which is legit just good because she has poison. The first thing that hits is her. Okay, I was able to beat him out. Get two of those off. I was yeah, 20% maybe. I didn't have enough for anything. Eat that poison again. Now I don't have a block. Red assist. Other red assist. This time I go for a strike. I didn't pop. Okay, I was like, no, I have him busy. I might as well pop and then go for something big. That was a good like guess slash anticipation, but it did not work out. So what does he go for? Okay, I'm able to block, even though I'm still poisoned right there. I was able to win. But I think it is very notable that even as I'm winning, I was poisoned and taking damage. So if I had taken more damage, I probably would have lost. Okay, I think... That was Thanos. No, oh, Andres. And there's always a thing to be said about more high tier characters, or at least fighting them. You end up getting a lot of match experience, at least, against the more meta of the team. And I wouldn't necessarily say this is a meta team, but I feel like Scorpina's probably up there. I've seen a lot from her today, yesterday, whatever. And it's crazy. And This looks rough. I'm making bad decisions, missing a lot of stuff. I got one hit in. She went in for a kick. What am I going to do in retaliation? I'm going to do that. going to combo her. Oh, got a crit. Oh, she went for her. Um, she went for a breaker. I'm going to get a strike. I feel like I use it in that way. Pop the super. And then do a strike. Kind of on reaction. If I were her, I would be absolutely furious. Because that did not look like my match. That did not look like I was going to win that match. I mean, I'll take it, obviously, but like... Didn't look like it. Okay, Mr. A1. See if you like some steak sauce. And then for today, we're going to skip anything that's not explicitly uh, White Ninja Ranger on either side. But I think at one point I do end up using uh, Movie Red. Okay, take damage. Block it. Start my own combo. I was going to say, like, I could probably go for that two strike. I think even if I was, like, mashing meditation, I wouldn't have done much. So I'll go for that. Okay, I end up popping. I didn't even think I'd pop. Ooh. You don't even hear the battle. You never know what you're going to do. Okay, that was good. That was good. I still technically have it. Ooh, that was good. 
because it comes out pretty quick, the hyper speed kick. Okay, he had nothing but blocks, so he had to throw one out just to get rid of it. And I was able to capitalize with my hyper speed kick breaker attack. Okay, let's keep going. Mr. Oh, sorry. Jubilees. See what we can do today. It was fun. It was fun using this new character. It's always fun uh, trying out new characters, especially fan favorites. I think the Ninjetti series is really fun, and I think it's also cool to have a mixture of sort of kind of street clothes and kind of like colored Sentai thing. Even though it kind of isn't. Um, because they're in that ninja suit, but they're also not civilian clothing. I don't know. Put that in. Okay, I was gonna say like, I would probably go for the cross slash. I think between the two, I think it's the faster option. Uh, but teleport kick goes for the kind of lends itself more to combos. Yeah, I'm poisoned, so I think he's still he was still taking damage. But I don't think that combos off of anything. Yeah. Not safely anyway. Okay, that comboed. Not a lot of damage being done here. Okay, we're able to combo again. Okay, can we do anything off of that? I would go for the cross. And I'd be wrong. The fact that that lasts as long as it does is crazy. That was a weird exchange where if I hadn't if I hadn't won, I would not have been surprised. Because it just a match could be like that. And the way our blocks were like blocked it. The block's still going. Really? Still going? Oh yeah, you'd be surprised. Yeah, it looks like I lose a few more, but it's part of the matches, so we're gonna put it in there. You know, you get to a point where you're losing so much, you're like, I, I'm going to go back to my main team just to win, because I know I can win with them. And then if you don't and you get blown up, then you're like, well, this is just BS. Okay, I ate a flash kick, kind of got combo city. How much is this? 40, 30, 40%? Well, there's the 50. Oh, more than the 50. Let's see what second exchange. Bad timing or bad spacing rather. Okay, so I get some damage in. Didn't have anything for that. And that's all she wrote. That one did not go good. I might have mm, like two exchanges and then I've been that third one that really got me. Okay, so next we're gonna be fighting God's X Man. Well, that's a name. Okay, let's keep going. So you know, this would be cool if we can actually have like a raid where like the Rangers, like the normal characters, fought the Megazord. But you don't have that. You have Megazord versus Megazord, so it seems a little weird to have that. Oh, that was good. Oh, that was him. Oops. No, he's doing a good job. So, I should... Yep, I was gonna say, I should go for a breaker. Because all he had were blocks. Now it can get a little messy. Should have gone for a cancel. Should have gone for a cancel there. Good. Do I pop? I pop. It's good damage, but is it worth it damage? I think it becomes that. You know, even in that situation, I would have gone for the hyper speed kick. Not that it helps, because it certainly didn't. But I would have gone for that. Maybe on wake up, gone for that. But like even then, I, I don't think I had a choice. He was able to combo into that, that kick. And if I'd blocked, I would have gotten crit or you know extra damage that would have worked. If I had gone for it, 
for another breaker. Like, it would have been too slow and would have lost to his anyway. So it's like, in that situation, there, there was no winning formula. And in this game, there isn't always, well, you should have just done this, because I, I think in that situation, there wasn't. Okay, that, this one, okay, this wasn't the last one. I think I was trying to do a daily thing or try to get points. Okay, I, I actually win this one, <laughs> which is a nice thing to see after watching myself lose. Okay, let's see what we got here. I like Gallo as an assist, because he can throw a projectile, which is pretty cool, and he just acts as a block, so like, what's not to love? Okay, Kinder City. You know, as many times as I've hit people with that, I end up doing it myself, so. That move is deceptively short range. So that, I mean, it leads into some cool stuff. My timing with that shuriken thing is terrible. Or, I'm sorry, kunai. I think it's just so fast you can't you can't really react too well to it. And we're done. I wasn't even fully paying attention and that was I would almost say that's a bit, mm, a bit too much. But <laughs> I mean that is what it is. That's the character for now unless we get a balance change. And that was against this dude. No Tommy's there. Then we have Tommy Match. Tommy Heart Lily. With the very familiar Scorpina, but the less familiar Chun Li Ranger. So, I'm gonna see what she does. I don't actually remember what she does. I know it said it. Okay, I'm gonna say a Breaker? My guess is Breaker. It's a Breaker. Spinning Phoenix, which is. You know, spinning bird kick, but like better because you know he's a ranger now. Kind of want to see this go through. I want to see what it does. Okay, he didn't even go for it. He went for one of Tommy's moves. Not even to say it would have really had because Tommy's moves actually go for. They go into combos a lot better. And honestly, that's. Is he just going to sit on this the whole match? Because Tommy kind of needs all the meter he can get to, you know, extend his combos. And having a cost 6 move, I don't think really benefits him all that much. I am so surprised at Reach. Because you could see his hand reaching out to punch him. Whoa. Okay, we do have a one more, and I'm gonna lose this one, which is fine. Okay, this is the last match of the day, last replay in my. I don't even know how long it's been, but we have a good session playing Tommy. And if you like him, then you can certainly try. I think he's still up for purchase. He might not be, but at least. When this was going on, you could buy like um, a chance of like 1 to 10 shards or something. Uh, but I think the chances were like 20%. So, like, I normally don't even say, you know, go for those types of things unless you really, really want to try or you have the money. If you don't have that much money to spend, just wait for these events and then just, or the challenges, and just play them for that period of time and just set the game down. Uh, as for me, I kind of main Goldar still in MMPR, not MMPR, uh, Movie Red, because I had a lot of them. That was the one where I lost to the Poison and then the other stuff. Well, that sucked. Well guys, that's it for my replays using Tommy Oliver, the White Ninja Ranger. 
If you want to stay up to date on my videos and live streams on both YouTube and Twitch, check out links in the description below. Like, comment, subscribe, and consider joining. That's all for now, guys. Laundromat out.